just landed here in Oslo airport after 10 days with the Swedish national team in Spain. We had a great camp and as usual my focus was not uh, filming but uh, I filmed some clips here and there so I thought I would use the time I have here while I'm waiting for my bus uh, to show some parts of the camp. So the first couple of days we spent in the mountains outside of Alicante and during these days I didn't film anything. It was quite hectic. I was the only physio on spot and uh, we had both the junior and the senior national team there the first week. So quite uh, a lot of focus on treatment and uh, as usual putting out controls and helping out with the training and logistics. But on our way to Gardemar, where we spent uh, the last week of the camp, uh, we did a nice training where I got to run uh, and follow some runners myself in the cool mountain terrain. So here's a few clips from that. Hello and welcome to the mountains outside of Alicante. This is the place where we have started the first couple of days with our camp for the Swedish national team. Uh, it's been a good start. The runners have gotten some really good trainings. I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again oh, There's a jungle in my head going wilder And it's killing me, killing me I cannot let you go, I cannot let you go Pretty cool place uh, for orienteering, right? But after this, we spent the rest of the camp in Marial and did a lot of technical trainings with the runners in that uh, sand dune uh, terrain. And I thought I would show you guys how we started uh, every day. So, good morning. This is how every day in Marial starts putting training clothes on to go outside for a sunrise run. <laughs> so now I thought I would show one of my highlights during the camp and that was when I got to join three of our runners on a long run in the mountains and yeah the area was pretty insane and we ran up a peak, so here you have some footage from there and it's pretty cold out here in Norway, so let's think of that nice long run instead. It's now in the evening, the same day as the long run, and I just finished with putting out some ribbons for a night training in this sand dunes terrain where we do most of our trainings here in Marial. And it's beautiful to stand here and watch over the sun that goes down. And over there I can see a runner, the first runners on the training. So let's see if we can find some runner to follow a bit here. So 
that was the very talented Viktor Svensk, one of the guys in the junior team that I followed for a while. It's uh, nice to see how they tackle this pretty demanding train by night. And they're doing a contours only training as well, which makes it more difficult. But yeah, it's a super nice playground for orienteering this. So now I'm out here in the cold waiting for the bus. And the last thing I want to show you is uh, a sort of a highlights video of a live stream we did. Uh, I know some of my viewers uh, watched it live. Uh, it was an idea I had for the last night uh, orienteering session we did uh, on the camp and uh, yeah I just uh, broadcasted uh, the training live so it was a fun little experiment uh, and I think parts of it was uh, at least watchable. I think the reception was a bit too bad which made uh, uh, the quality a bit worse than it could have been but uh, here we have a little, a little highlights video of that uh, live stream. Come to this uh, night orienteering session that we will have here with the Swedish national team. I'm standing here on a sand dune, quite close to where we're staying during this camp. Here we have the group, they are looking strong, lead by the coach Thierry Chouchou. So are you guys ready for a good uh, night session? Of course, always ready. And right now we're in the competition or training terrain. Oh, look at oh. this one is down. <laughs> A big fall for Lina Strand. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, no, now I'm really hurt, so the other will have a big advantage. I was discussing with Lina, maybe I can win the training and be the cameraman. Oh, yes. And live comment my own wi <laughs> victory. <laughs> it seems to be a good goal for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We need the TV time because we've been away for some time. So. Yeah, Oscar has been struggling with some injuries, but you're on your way back. Uh, the Swiss guys are pretty, they're not so long, they're pretty short. <laughs> so they don't really see so much, I think. And I can use my, my length. I think. Yeah. Good. So uh So you have your strategy ready. Yeah. And here we have the expert commentator Matt Strueng. Yeah. What are your thoughts before this uh, night training? Yeah, we as always in uh, the sand dune terrain. It's so exciting at night. Uh, Strong with the contours. And also the corridor one. Yeah. Uh, so there is a little bit of a division between the runners what uh, they would use. One is just contours, one is corridor. So it's up to you. The corridor is not that difficult. It's your last night training. We start from this line. The start point is there. Quality orienteering. You have millions of viewers. It's all about compass. You don't fuck it up the last night training this year. Okay? We can see Oscar Cobb himself to a running start here. Getting a gap almost directly. Diamond is in. So the pressure, I think, he will get in contact with the map at this point. Yeah, and he's doing a sprint, he's doing a sprint! He's trying to get the gap already to the first one. This is a bold move from Oscar Schöber. But he's eager. He's on his way back, as I said, after injury problems. But look at this speed, he's flying now! Mats, how do you approach a, co approach a control in an area like this? What's the main thing you think about? It's all about contours. All about contours. Uh, and try to look for the hilltops and also for the for the bottom of the depression. This is Isak, and then we know this is Isak, and it's the lead at the 15th control. And right now we can see no other runner, so we will start following Isak. I'm giving it to Isak. So this is the advantage with having two commentators. <laughs> and a cameraman behind you when you run a training. So he's back on, and Mats needs to stay close now. The last control, he has the finish coming up for Isak from Grusikvela. There is the finish, and, and Isak has successfully finished this last training. So yeah, that was the highlights reel of our live broadcast that I did to, together with Mats Truweng as expert commentator. And I will put uh, the whole thing up on my YouTube channel, so if you want to watch it, uh, you will have a link uh, down below here. But that was it for this camp. Now I hope the bus will show up soon, because it's really cold here in Norway. And yeah, as always, had great days with the Swedish national team. Always a bit tired when I get home, but uh, yeah, it was fun. And I really think that the runners uh, that were there did a good camp. And, uh, 
and got a little closer to their goals. And it's always inspiring to work with uh, those ambitious athletes and to see how Thierry put their training schedule. Yeah, but that is it for this video. Next video will for sure be more structured, but I hope you liked uh, to get a glimpse of this training camp we had with the Swedish national orienteering team. And as always, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>